What's going on guys and girls, Static here and welcome back to Hermitcraft. Uh, today I think we're going to do a little bit of building here at the plank. Uh, this has sort of become my home away from home in Hermitcraft. When I'm not working on solitude, I'm usually uh, pottering around here, uh, messing messing around with the, uh, the reeds and uh, with my furnaces down below. And um, yeah, just doing some random mining around the place, uh, exploring mine shafts and bringing all the goodies back here. And so I, I wanted to expand a little bit on the plank. Um, as you can see at the moment, it's just the platform down there and the platform up here, which uh, are quite cool in themselves. I mean, I know they're very basic at the moment, but I quite like them. Uh, it feels kind of like my own little tree house. Um, and so I wanted to kind of expand on this area and have quite an expansive tree house. And uh, as I mentioned in the last episode, I do need to get some enchanted tools going. And I I know there's uh, an enchantment table in our spawn village. And I know there's an XP farm and an enchantment table in the end. However, both of those are quite a long trek from my base here. And so I thought I'd uh, make a little bit of an expansion to the plank, which included a, uh, like a an enchantment table and probably an anvil as well. And later on we'll have... Um, an experience farm within uh, walking distance from the plank as well. So we'll be able to get some enchanted tools going uh, in this area here. And I wanted to, uh, like with, with the plank expansion, I don't want to just have uh, bridges from uh, the platforms that I've already got to the new platforms. I want to make use of the jungle biome a little bit. Now, when I first uh, started exploring jungle biomes, I didn't like them very much. Uh, they're very, very hard to... So to see where you're going when you're exploring, um, you have to jump around a lot, which sucks down your hunger bar. Um, the only real major benefit to jungle biomes was the um, the fact that uh, hostile mobs didn't really spawn in them, simply because mobs can't spawn on leaves, and most of the surface area in jungle biomes is leaves. So yeah, they were a safe biome, but a little bit of an annoying one. However, after spending some time in the jungle biome, I've started to really like them. Uh, mainly because of the vines here. Now, as you guys are most likely already aware, uh, you can use these vines to uh, slow your fall and reset your fall height, which means that you can make a, a bunch of giant leaps uh, around the jungle biomes uh, to explore. And I wanted to use that feature in the new expansion of the plank. Um, so I don't, as I've mentioned, I don't want to just have bridges from platform to platform. I'd like to have I mean, some bridges between the platforms, but other platforms, I want I want to have to like jump between them and use the vines here to reset my fall height. And so the first little expansion that I'm thinking of doing for our uh, enchantment table is a jump off to the corner here. And you see, you hit these vines and then you land on what will be the platform over here. Uh, so this is where I'm planning on having the first little platform. And I think this one will uh, essentially just be... Uh, maybe a little bit of storage, I'm not sure, just a, just a little landing platform. Uh, and I'm thinking that I'll have this one lead f uh, with bridges and stuff from this treetop up to this one and then all the way up to the top one there. And then from this top one, you should be able to jump from there back down to this plank. And I'm thinking that these vines, uh, not these ones right in front of me here, but uh, these ones here, I'm hoping these ones will... Uh, be close enough to reset my fall height that I'll be able to catch them from that jump. Uh, if not, we'll probably just uh, place some extra vines halfway between and that should do the trick. So I've gathered a bunch of resources for the project. As you can see, I've got two stacks of spruce wood plus an extra five or so that I found in a chest uh, over by the mine. Uh, I've also got an absolute ton of paper. I think this is all I'll need to make the full uh, make make the number of bookshelves I need for the full level 30 enchantment. Got my four obsidian and my two diamond. The only thing I'm missing at the moment is leather. Uh, and the problem is that so far here in my uh, my little uh, area, um, I haven't found any uh, any cows. Um, so we're gonna have to oh shovel. <laughs> Sorry, I, I love seeing these mobs now carrying stuff. My only issue is that a lot of the time, if you if you see them carrying something, they a lot of the time they don't drop it. Uh, I saw a skeleton carrying an enchanted bow before. Um, come on, dude, die. Take a hit. Yeah, so like, 
there. He was carrying a shovel, didn't drop the shovel. Um, that's a real pain. I wish mobs would always drop the items that they were holding. Because, uh, like I said, I was uh, chasing a, uh, a skeleton with an enchanted bow, and uh, he didn't drop it. Um, but yeah, so we need to now find uh, some cows. Uh, so I'm going to go on a little bit of a trek through through my area, see if I can find... I need to come up with a name for the place. I, <laughs> I've got a name for the plank, I've got a name for solitude, but I don't have a name for, I guess, what you'd call my continent. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go around, see if I can find some cows, uh, and if I can, I'll try and... Actually, I probably should get some wheat. Um, yeah, I'll grab some wheat, and we'll go on a little bit of a journey, see if we can find some cows, and get them back to either the plank or solitude, whichever's closer at the time. In a biologetic rocket fuel But then, then I feel it rising in the back of my neck This is no surprise an offensive dialect Your names, the jewel of one, my firstborn son. If I get it wrong again, but I'm all about a fantasy. I never try and start a war with something you can't see. She was waving the light.
And after killing off all of those cows, I didn't even get half the leather that I need. Uh, this might take a while. So while I've been waiting for the cows to uh, be ready to breed and to mature and whatever else, I've been working on the mine here, among other things. Um, and so I just thought I'd give you a quick status update on this. Uh, as you can see, I've extended the uh, pathways out here about as far as I think I'll need them. Uh, I'm, I'm sort of considering maybe still going out a little bit further as it's still a little bit... I don't know. To me, it's, it seems a little bit short. Um, and I've also started to uh, chisel out the... Uh, the chasm here um, and as you can see as well I've started to try and uh, copy this uh, curve from the bottom up to the top and I've been using this dirt pillar just to get up and down so that's what that dirty ugly thing here in the middle of the room is um, so yeah that's still gonna take a fair bit of time to do but it's progressing nicely um, and I've also as you can see produced an absolute ton of stone bricks so we'll be able to start work on uh, solitude in the next episode or two but I think that's about as much time as those cows will need as you can see down in my hot bar I've already got 39 uh, leather and I'm pretty sure all I need is 45 and I've just uh, recently bred a whole bunch of extra cows so uh, we should be just about right uh, before I slaughter them though, I want to quickly grab whatever wheat I can. And once they've bred, a little bit of time. You can tell this one wants a piece of that one, but he's not interested. Uh, Alright, let's 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 slaughter these cows. Now I want to try and make sure I don't hit any of the babies. But don't do anything stupid, little cows. Okay, so uh, we've got our... So Minecraft crashed halfway through me killing all those cows. Um, but uh, as you can see, I do now have the 45 leather that I'll need, plus a little bit of extra. Um, and I thought I'd also show you while I was working on the mine and waiting for those cows to uh, mature. I've also been collecting more wool, and yeah, my wool stores are coming along very nicely, which is good, because as I've mentioned, for a pre future project, I'm going to need an absolute ton of the stuff. Those floating boats are really weird. Uh, but yeah, so now we've got all the leather that we need, so let's get back to the plank and start work on our little expansion. Okay, so I think I've finished f uh, building the platforms. Now all I've got to do is chuck in the anvil and the uh, enchantment table and the bookshelves. Uh, let me just give you the grand tour. So, as I said, you jump down to this platform here. Now, if, if you don't want to take that half a heart or so of damage, um, or if I don't want to take it, I should say, um, I can just, when I hit the vines, uh, just stop go moving forward, and I'll land right here and won't take any damage. Um, so, I initially put this uh, workbench here just temporarily, um, but I quite like it. I think I might keep that there. It is quite useful, uh, and doesn't look half bad, so... I don't think I need to move it. Uh, the diagonal stairs that I was worried about, or that, that I didn't really want to put the effort into making, uh, turned out to be quite easy thanks to the new uh, corner stairs. And uh, it might not be the uh, the most impressive way to go about diagonal stairs, but uh, I quite like it. It's it's nice and simple, which is sort of the, the whole uh, thing that I'm going for with this, this tree house. Um, so up here is where I think I'm going to place my enchantment table. And I'm thinking that we could probably place it right... Oh, I didn't even realise that. that <laughs> um, okay, that might be an issue. I don't want the enchantment table floating in the middle of nowhere. So I'll probably uh, raise all of this up by uh, half a block. Um, but yeah, we'll place the enchantment table sort of in the middle there. And then I reckon we'll probably have we've got, we've got to place the 15 bookshelves around it in some way uh, to get the full level in enchantment um, so we'll just try and do that now and yeah another two there and do the same sort of thing on this side mm. and one there and I'll probably end up putting another one here just to uh, 
just to even that out a bit, but I think that looks looks all right. I wouldn't mind though um, getting rid of these two and uh, curving the book uh, bookshelves around this way a little bit more. But again, that's something I can do later on. Just some fine tuning. Um, just make sure that we've got the full level 30 enchantment. Yet we do indeed. Okay, and then the uh, to continue the tour, the platform comes up this way, up a ladder. And then this is where I'm thinking I'll have my anvil. And again, I'm going to have the same issue that I had with the uh, enchantment table. This one's a little bit easier to fix, though, although I don't have any planks on me at the moment, so I can't... Uh, let's see where we can steal. Where can we steal one from? I think we can probably steal some vines. They will steal that one, since we can now get back up. And... I think we'll place the anvil right here. Beautiful. Okay, so we've got an anvil. We've got our enchantment table down below. Why am I stuck? Thank you. Uh, and then to get down, uh, I was wrong. I couldn't make that jump. That's far too uh, long of a jump. But the way that we get down from this platform uh, is we can jump off this one here and we hit these vines, land on this tree and we jump up. Nice and simple. So it wasn't quite what I was hoping for, but you know, we get the same sort of effect. So I, I don't mind too much. Near enough is good enough. So I quite like the way that the platforms flow. Although as you can see from uh, this angle, it does look pretty, uh, I don't know. There's a lot of areas here where it needs touching up just to make it look a little bit neater on the underside, just so that uh, when we're on this bottom platform or when we're running underneath our platforms, um, it doesn't look quite so gnarly, but I'll get to that between now and the next episode. So uh, we're pretty much out of time, but I think before we, before we head off, I might uh, just test out or give our new enchantment table a test run. As you can see, I've got my uh, all the diamonds on me uh, that I have in this world, and so we'll uh, we'll do a level uh, level 30 enchantment on something. Not sure what though. We've got 14 diamonds to play with, uh, so we could do pretty much anything we wanted. I do have a sword at the moment, not the best sword, but it'll do. So we don't want to do another sword. I think we might try a chest plate. See if we can get a nice diamond high level 30 enchantment chest plate. Uh, especially since GB is trying to kill everyone on the server and he hasn't killed me yet, so uh, I'm expecting an attack any day now, so some extra defense would be nice. So keep your fingers crossed for something good. Protection 4. Eh, not bad. I did say we wanted a little bit of protection, so... Oh, just in the nick of time as well. Okay, so as I said guys, I think that's about all the time we've got today, so I hope you enjoyed today's episode. As always, if you did, please feel free to show that like button some love, it helps me out more than you know. I've been Static, and I'll catch you guys next time.